Hello friends, welcome to BC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop wise pest classification, and I am going to cover the topic pest of pineapple as well as burr. So in this video, we are going to see about two crops. Uh, in the particular video so first i are going to see about pest of pineapple so these are some of the insects which is a majorly important one as well as the major pest of pineapple the first one is mealybug and the second one is rhinoceros beetle let's see about the pest which was present in pineapple one by one so first one um, as i have already told you it is one of the major pest present in pineapple so where the scientific name of mealybug is pseudococcus brevipis and the major symptom of damage both the nymph and the adult which used to concrete on the leaves as well as sucking the saps so as well as we have already seen the sucking insect which used to causes yellowing of leaves and in uh, several stages there is a wilting of leaves as well as the stunted growth of the plants so it used to reduce the yield as well as in most uh, severe cases the whole plant get, get to be stunted out as well as withered and uh, it, there is also a loss of the plant in that particular field and it is also a vector of pine apple wilt disease so this mealybug also act as a vector for pineapple wilt disease so which is an uh, important uh, disease present in pineapples and uh, these are some of the pictures of yellowing of leaves caused by the mealybug in pineapple field and so the major management practices we can able to go against the mealybug in pineapple or so the cultivation of resistant varieties like red spanish and uh, queen varieties and also the collecting of plant material from unaffected plantation is it to be an effective one for growing pineapple in our area and removal of basal brownish leaves so we can able to monitor is there is presence of any mealybugs so we can able to go for some chemical in spraying even at the starting stage so and also we can able to dip the basal portion of the planting material in Marathian 0.2 percentage which can able to reduce the infection of mealybugs in the starting stage up to 6 months and spraying dimethoate 2 ml per liter or methyl dematon 1.5 ml per liter or phosphobidone 2 ml per liter so once we use it to see there is a presence of mealybug we can able to go for spraying of these chemicals in the field level and uh, as uh, the best effective method is a release of cochineal beetles and a cryptolama montraezeria a 10 per tree is a set to be an effective one so which used to feed on the insects mealybugs and the next one is rhinoceros beetle where the scientific name is Orsitius rhinoceros which used to come under the family scrabidae and order coleoptera so which is said to be the infect form is grub which is said to be a sluggish in color which used it to have a c-shaped one the grub which used it to feed on the roots of the pineapple plant and also where the adult which is a stonish black moth which used it to have a horn like projector in its forehead so the symptom of damage is the plants adult which used to bore at the base of the stem so which used to cause a wilting damages in the whole plant so the effective management is remove and burning of all dead pineapple plants which was um, affected by the rhinoceros beetle and the collection and destruction of various stages of menu pits um, which was present near as well as outside of the field and iron hooking and kill adults from the base of the stem is an effective one and soaked castor cake 1 kg in 5 liters of water in small mud pots keep them in the pineapple garden can able to reduce the infection of rhinoceros beetle and also we can able to use rhino loo traps to attract adult ones and uh, we can also conserve predators like rejuvenate bugs which is the scientific name is platermenis lavicolis which is used to uh, feed on rhinoceros beetle and also spraying of some chemicals like carbaryl 0.1 percentage once in three months after plantation and spray marathon at five percentage per ml five percentage in the field level is said to be an effective one so and next we are going to see about the pest of burr so the major important pest which was present in burr are fruit fly burr fruit borer burr butterfly and lac and sepsa. so we can able to see them one by one so the first one is fruit fly where the scientific name is carpomomia versuvinia which used to come under the family terpidae and order diptera so 
where the magic damaging symptom is the maggot which used to feed on the fruit pulp and uh, up to a maximum of 18 maggots can be found in a fruit and uh, these maggots are mainly formed due to the opposition puncture of the fruit by the adult ones you can able to see their and also identify the fruit fly by the rough appearance and uh, where the puncture used to appear as black spots and the maggots which are said to be reddish brown galleries which used to have a fruit rot which used to turn the fruit into dark brown and a distorted color which used to give away the offensive smell uh, and they even truly they used to drop after severe infections so while seeing about the characteristics of these fruit fly so the eggs are which is said to be laid on the, laid on the fruit over to to um, by the over portion and uh, they use it to have a period of around 2 to 3 days and the maggot which is said to be a creamy white which is used to have a maggot period of 7 to 10 days and pupa which is said to be pupated in the soil and the adult which is said to be a brownish yellow colored one you can able to identify in these pictures so they use it to have a transparent wing with the four yellowish cross bands on their adult so they use it to have 2 to 3 generations over a year so it is the picture of adult fruit fly and uh, the major management practices we can able to go or use of resistant varieties and also destruction of infested index where the maggot was said to be found in the fruit so we can we must need to destroy it before it goes for pupation once we found that is an infection of fruit flies and spraying of marathon 50 easy or quadal post 25 easy at 2 ml per liter during the time of flowering formation and fruit set is an effective one against the control of fruit flies and we must need to increase parasitoids like opium casper compensators and spalanginia pilipinius in the field which use it to control these fruit fly in the field level and the next is bird fruit borer which use it to be a major problem only in the bird fruit where the scientific name is metrizes skyrodus which use it to comes under the family carsopinidae and order lepidoptera so it is uh, where the early in store is said to be light yellowish in color and the grown up is said to be red in color so it used to have a laurel bores in fruits as well as feeds on the pupal pulp of the seed so we can able to see the fecal matter within them so it is the picture of the bird fruit fly adult one so the best one is collection and destruction of damaged fruits and spraying marathon at 2 ml per liter or dimethoate at 1.5 ml per liter at the time of uh, fruit set so two rounds at 15 days interval is an effective one in controlling bird fruit flies and the next one is bird butterfly where the scientific name is Tarcus incidus which is used to come center the family like an idea and order lepidoptera so while seeing about that eggs are said to be laid on the ventral surface of the leaves which is nothing but the back surface of the leaves so which is used to give the protection from the sunlight so on the larva which is said to be a fleshy green which is used to have a laurel period of around 15 days and the pupation which is used to takes place in the leaves or else in the soil with the um, pupil period of around 5 to 7 days where they used to have a white transparent patches on the leaves so once we can able to see or identify the bird butterfly larva present in the plant so it is a picture of bird butterfly and uh, the next one and the final one of the la bird is lac insect where the, the scientific name is lacibur lacca which used to come under the family keridae and order hemiptera so it is one of the sucking insect which used to suck the sap from the plant and uh, which causes drying up of the whole plant where the apiterous female which used to have a global resinous moss incrustation covering twigs so we must need to prune the infested tricks and destroy them and we can also spray or apply methyl dematon at 2 ml per liter in the infected plants so i have already given the lecture notes in the description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos